Okay, so first thing we're going to do is get the door in. The door can go anywhere in your bedroom. It can be on the ceiling, on the floor, on the walls, on the back wall. So um, you need to have an entryway to your door. I'm going to show you how to draw a door over here on the left side. We're going to draw two vertical lines. Make sure you line up the edge of the ruler with the edge of the paper up here. And then an orthogonal line to our vanishing point for the top of the door. Okay, and there's your door. You're going to erase the extra orthogonal lines. Put a doorknob on here. You can add um, any details you want to the door. I'm going to show you now how to put a bed in. Uh, uh, you do need to have a resting place somewhere in your bedroom. I'm going to show you how to put a bed in the center here. So you're going to start off with a rectangle. So we want a nice straight horizontal line, two of them, and two vertical lines. Always line up the edge of the ruler edge of the paper. Okay, so we're starting with a rectangle and then we're going to draw orthogonal lines from the two top points of our rectangle to the vanishing point. We're not going to go all the way through, we're going to stop at the back wall here. Okay, then for the headboard it's two vertical lines. One, and two. Horizontal line across the top to close that off. Okay, so there's our bed. If you want, you can add legs to the bed by drawing a horizontal line in here. And then two vertical lines for the legs. Okay, and you can erase the bottom line. Okay, so there's your bed. If you want to put a bed on the side of your room, on one of the sides or up against the wall, that's different. You're going to start off the same way. You're going to start with the rectangle, but the right side of your rectangle needs to come out of this orthogonal line here where the floor meets the wall. So you're going to bring your vertical line out of, of this orthogonal line here where the floor meets the wall and then draw your rectangle in. Okay, so the, the side of the bed, this is the side of the bed, it's sitting right up against the wall. So you make it as wide as you want. You're going to draw orthogonals from these three points to the vanishing point. I'm going to stop here where the floor meets the back wall. Two. For this one, I'm going to go a little bit further. And three. Stop the back wall there. Okay, then I'm going to close this off with a horizontal and vertical line. Okay, so there's your bed on the side of the wall there. I'm going to erase these lines. details to your bed. You can add pillows. You can add a bed skirt if you like. Um, you could put in bed posts. Again, we always want to do this with the ruler. You can get really detailed here. Bed posts. Okay. The next thing I'm going to show you is 
how to put in a window. It's two vertical lines. And two orthogonals for the bottom and the top to the vanishing point. You can add a border around your window with the same orthogonal lines and vertical lines just going around. You can put in the window panes by adding the cross in here, the wooden panels to create the wooden panes. Um, you need to find the center first. Uh, what you're going to do is put an X in the window to find the center. The center is right here where the two diagonal lines meet. So right in here I'm going to be putting in my cross. Again, any diagonal lines have to go to the vanishing point. Okay, then I can erase my X, don't need it anymore. Okay, so this can be a window, it could be a TV, because it has the border, it could be a canvas or an artwork. Um, ne next thing I'm going to show you is how to put in a design on your floor. You can put in a wood floor, uh, you could put in carpet or tile. I'm going to show you how to put in the wood floor. So you're going to draw orthogonal lines from the vanishing point and they're going to go through the floor here just like that. side of our floor is going to be wood. Again, you're going to put in the details so we can tell the wood grain details so we can tell that this is a wood floor. Okay, if you want to put in a tile floor, I'll do the tile over here on this side. Same thing, orthogonal lines going through the floor. Okay, then you want to put the horizontal lines. We're creating a checkboard, checkerboard. Um, our squares. Alejandra are... Vargas, please report to the front office. Alejandra Vargas, please report to the front office. The squares in the back are going to be smaller. And as we come to the front here, sorry, they're going to get bigger and bigger. tile floor. You can also do a carpet. If you do the carpet, you have to add the, the texture. Okay, all over. If you're going to do an entire um, carpet floor, you got to put all the texture in. Um, you can also put a rug in. If I wanted to place a rug right over here, I would draw my orthogonal lines and then my horizontal lines. So my rug is going to go right in here on top of my wood floor. I'm going to erase this line. And this is my rug. You can add detail to it. If you want to draw a pattern on your rug or on your, your bed, your comforter, again, you have to remember as we go back into space, our shapes or objects get smaller. 
So if you wanted to draw a pattern on here with flowers, the flowers, the front of the bed are going to be bigger than the flowers in the back. Okay. So big flowers in the front, medium, and then small in the back. Um, some things you can do with the ceiling, you can, again, you can put, you can make your ceiling a hardwood ceiling, it could be a tile ceiling, um, it's your dream bedroom, so it can have any design up at the top. I'm going to show you how to create spotlights or recessed lighting or a skylight. Um, what you're going to do is you're going to draw orthogonal lines, kind of like the, the hardwood floor on the, the bottom here. One, two. We're going to do another two on the other side. One, and two. So in here, I'm going to put my recessed lighting. They're going to look like ovals. If we were looking straight at the recessed lighting, it would be a perfect circle. Okay, but we're not looking straight at it. It's on the ceiling. We're looking at it at an angle. So it's going to be an oval up here. And as we go back, the ovals are going to get smaller and smaller. Okay. So big oval. Smaller and smaller oval as we go back. Um, you can also put in a skylight. For the skylight, you're going to start with a small rectangle in the center. So I'm drawing my two vertical lines and my two horizontal lines form my rectangle. You want to always make sure your vertical and horizontal lines are straight. Okay, from this point here, from all the four, uh, from all four corners, we're going to draw orthogonal lines going upwards. So we're lining up corners of the rectangle with a vanishing point and then drawing orthogonal lines going up. Okay, so the, these are the sides of our skylight. We're going to close that off at the top with just a horizontal line. Okay, erase the extra orthogonal. So this is our skylight. We can draw the clouds up here. Birds. What, what do you see outside of the, or through the skylight? What do you see? Okay, so those were the different options that you have um, for the floor and the ceiling. I showed you how to make a bed and the window. If you want to draw a circle, again, if we're drawing a circle on the back wall, it's going to be a perfect circle. Alejandra Vargas, please report to the front office. Alejandra Vargas, please report to the front office. If we want to draw a circle on the side of the wall, we're going to start with a window first because it's not going to be a perfect circle, it's going to be more like an oval. So we're going to draw a window first, then we're going to find the center. Then we're going to draw our circle within this space here. So our circle on the left is closer to the vanishing point. It's going to be smaller and as we come forward the circle is going to get bigger out here. So you're staying within this window, this space, and drawing in your circle. It's not going to be a perfect circle. 